Welcome back to Top Line. We're joined now by Kevin Madden, former spokesman for Governor Mitt Romney and also a, uh, an official at the Glover Park Group, a uh, group we're quite familiar with here at Top Line. Very busy, very so, busy. So what, what, what's your sense here, Kevin? I mean, there, there, was, there was no wiggle room there. I mean, you heard from the, that's the Progressive Caucus view. That's about 50-some votes uh, if they stay united, and they have been to this point, saying that they're going to they're gonna say no. They're going to vote no if there's no public option. You know, and it's emblematic of what I think has been so odd about this entire, um, this entire debate and, and, when the, and the language coming from both Capitol Hill and the White House is that they're looking to cast blame upon Republicans when they have a very serious problem within their own party up on Capitol Hill. Uh, they have progressives that have drawn a line around the public option and using it as the holy grail. They will not, uh, they will not retreat from it so whatsoever. And then on the same side, where the votes are going to need to be counted, the moderates are saying you have folks like Mike Ross up there from from um, from Arkansas saying that he will not vote for a bill with a public option. That is their dilemma. This is no longer about blaming or, or trying to cast blame upon Republicans, but instead it's finding the votes within their own caucus, and they simply cannot do that. That's the president's charge tomorrow night. He has a big hill to climb here. So what does he need? So what does he need to do to solve that problem tomorrow night? I'm going to do something that's very rare in television here. I'm going to say I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean in all seriousness, it, it is. It is going to be very interesting to see a White House that has competing messages on whether or not they will even stand and fight for the public option, on whether or not they do start to draw lines around one, two, three core principles that they uh, insist have to be in a bill that, that is labeled health care reform. I think up until this point right now, there has been no fear of the president uh, by either Democrats or Republicans up on Capitol Hill because they're not sure exactly what he will fight for. They're not sure what he will stand firm on because this is a president and this is, this is criticism, I understand, from a Republican who does not yet know uh, or who is much more inclined to try and find this, uh, this kind of fuzzy middle rather than stand and fight. But, on I mean, but do you really think that we're going to get to the point where we're going to have a head-to-head -head war between the president and the progressives uh, in the House of Representatives? I mean, I, is that really where we're headed? Because it's, it seems increasingly clear that the public option is not going to pass in the Senate, mm -hmm. may not even pass mm -hmm. in the House. But are these guys really going to go to war with the president they helped to get elected? I don't know. I, I don't think this is a president who's very willing to take on his own party. So if I were to, if I were to offer a prediction, I'd say no. But in order to get health care done, he's going to have to challenge some sort of orthodoxy within his own party in order to get this bill. He's going to have to stake out a claim on one or two things, tell the American public what it is, and then leverage public support behind those one or two things. And he has not yet done that. And, and quite frankly, we don't know what those one or two things are yet. And for th that to happen now at the beginning of September, that we still don't know what it is exactly that he has to have in that bill, that is uh, probably emblematic of why he's had so many struggles during and, the summer. And clearly not the calendar that the White House initially wanted for this uh, in terms of where the debate